this is a piece of round steel right here that I've split with the cutting torch and what I do is take and hammer that and turn it into a T like this to make a pair of one piece spurs. I'm not sure I would have ever figured that out if it hadn't been for a man named Hunter Gaither that took a little time and showed me the steps of making a, a one piece spur. And uh, to kind of change the topic a little bit, about five years ago I was contacted by a photographer in uh, Grapevine, Texas about uh, photographing uh, the steps of spur making that he had been referred to me by a man named uh, Gerald Blackman. And so I said, sure. So uh, Shane Kislak and Tad Myers came up to the shop one day several years ago and I heated up the propane forge and split a piece of metal and began hammering it out. And uh, uh, one of the photographs I'm going to talk about is, as you can see on my face, that I'm really intense when I'm trying to cut the piece off. And actually, this is the piece that will uh, end up in the book that I'm going to tell you about. Um, I, I cut that off in three whacks, and I knew I had to make a good impression, so uh, I was a little bit under pressure that day. But uh, the, the main uh, topic here today is uh, this new book that's uh, being released. It's a 9 by 11 book with 275 pages in it, and it's by Tad Myers. And there's 30 artisans and companies represented in this book. And um, I would recommend this book to you. It's a great coffee table book, or it's a, also a great place to get inspiration. If you're an aspiring craftsman or would like to get into a niche, this might give you an idea of um, a, the direction you might want to go. So anyway, that's just a little overview. The old timer showed me how to make spurs. I ended up in a book. And I just think that's pretty neat. And I'm kind of passing it on to, to you.